What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is AJ and in this video we are going to look at some of the most common newbie cigar mistakes that you should absolutely avoid. So if you're new to the cigar world or you're a seasoned smoking connoisseur, avoiding these blunders is only going to enhance your cigar experience. So let's dive right in. At the very top of the list we have cutting off too much of the cap. Like most things in life, less is more and this definitely applies when it comes to cutting your cigar. All you're trying to do when cutting a cigar is reveal that filler tobacco in the middle. And if you're not sure how to cut a cigar properly, you can check it out in one of my previous videos. But basically, the cap is an important part of the structure of a cigar. And cutting past the cap is an easy way to get the wrapper to start to peel off on its own and mess up your draw. Plus, cigars are smokable to the very end, and that final third can be the best and most memorable part of a cigar. Nothing elevates your cigar experience like smoking it all the way down to the nub. So don't waste it by cutting off too much with your initial cut. Next up, we have something that's been getting a ton of hype lately, and that's dipping your cigar in your drink. This reminds me of the beginning of my cigar journey. I was at a cigar lounge one night where I met a nice gentleman, this old timer who had been a smoker for 30 plus years. And he wanted to show me how to enhance the flavor of my cigar, or so he thought. I watched this guy take his cigar and dunk it into his scotch glass. And at the time, I could not believe what I had just seen. I had the gut feeling that this was just a bad idea. Anyway, I think it started with Arnold. I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. But I've seen other celebrities talking about doing this as well. And the thing is, even the slightest change in humidity will affect your cigars. Now multiply that times 100 because now your cigar is completely soaking wet. It's just an easy way to set yourself up for a very disappointing cigar session. So make sure you avoid doing this. Next up is something that still amazes me, that it comes as a surprise to a lot of people. So I want to make this crystal clear. Don't ever inhale cigars. You might be thinking, what's the point of smoking a cigar? Cigarette smokers inhale, hookah smokers inhale, and practically every recreational smoke is going to be inhaled. So how are cigar smokers getting enjoyment out of this? Smoking cigars is about enjoying the natural tobacco flavors and aromas through the smoke without it ever entering your lungs. This is achieved by letting the smoke coat your palate and then simply blowing it out without it ever entering your lungs. And to really get an intense burst of flavor, you perform a retrohale. And this is simply blowing the smoke out through your nose, again, without it ever entering your lungs. So remember, inhaling cigar smoke is a very, very bad idea, and it's no way to enjoy a cigar. In fact, it'll do the opposite and make you sick to your stomach. Next, we have a misstep that even I make sometimes, and that's puffing too fast or puffing too slowly. Sometimes I'm really enjoying a cigar. It's delivering so much complexity and flavors that I find myself taking hit after hit without giving the cigar a little break in between. But what happens when you start puffing away too often and the temperature of the ember is burning at much higher than it should? Well, you'll know when this happens because the flavor will start to dull down and you'll get that all too common bitterness. On the other hand, if you take too long in between puffs, then the ember is gonna die out. This can also take away some of those nuanced flavors because you're gonna find yourself constantly have to touch it up with your lighter. One way to know if your puffing rhythm is on point is to look at the ember, also known as the cherry, whenever you ash your cigar. If it's sharp and pointy at the end when you ash your cigar, then you are puffing too frequently. Conversely, if it's tunneling, that's when the ember is burning, but the outer wrapper of the cigar is not burning along with it, then you know you're taking too long between each puff. You gotta have a rhythm going to enjoy the cigar and get it burning nice and perfectly. This is a skill you're gonna pick up with more experience because each cigar kinda has its own way to be smoked and you'll pick up on all that eventually. The quality of the cigar does matter as well, but nine out of 10, it's how you're smoking. And this next mistake is one you need to avoid, especially if you're at a cigar lounge, and that's snuffing the nub. Not a lot of people know this, but the assumption is you put out a cigar when you're done with it, just like you would a cigarette, which is you just stomp out the butt. Now let me tell you, this idea is totally off the mark. If you snuff out a cigar, you will release a very rancid smell. The stench will just be stuck to you. It'll linger all around that area and it'll bother you and everyone around you. So what's the right thing to do? Well, after your cigar has taken you on this euphoric journey of flavors and aromas, you wanna cherish that memory, and you do so by laying the nub to rest. 
just set it in your ashtray and let it rest there. And don't worry about it. The nub will extinguish on its own when it's ready. And it won't take longer than a few minutes and you would have ended your cigar journey properly. <laughs> and one of the worst mistakes you can make is not storing your cigars properly. I talked about that here with the KISS method. It's a perfect way to store your cigars, especially for beginners. So make sure you check that last video out. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment below, and please make sure you subscribe. Thanks guys. Peace.